Hello everyone and welcome to the easiest tutorial on Ruby on Rails Turbo ever. In this video we're going to create this application. So as you can see, this is the best this is the best post ever. What happens when I click create post? Well, it's going to show real time on both pages. Then if I click destroy this post, it's going to delete the post on both pages. So imagine I was in Europe and you were in America, it would both happen in real time, so that's pretty cool. I promise you this is going to be easy and you're going to be able to understand it. So let's get started. So I'm just going to close these browsers, close the server, clear, cd out of that directory, clear, and then get rid of this VS code, open back up this Windows terminal. And then we're going to create a new Rails project. So we're going to call it Rails New Real Time. Hit enter. So it's going to create a new Rails project. And then after the project is created, we're going to run Rails G scaffold. We're going to create a post scaffold. Then we're going to run Rails DB migrate, but I'll walk you through all that. Don't worry. Okay. So it's saying the gems are now installed. So first of all, we have to CD into that directory. So we're going to say CD real time. Then we're going to do clear. And then we're going to do Rails G scaffold posts or post. And we're going to say title string. So that's pretty simple, simple post scaffold hit enter. Then it's going to create the post scaffold and we need to do rails db migrate. Then we need to run code dot and I'm actually going before the commands are even finished doing because I'm that fast. <laughs> now we need to do rails s. Okay now that we've run rails s let's go to the browser and let's go to localhost 3000 make sure the application is working and we've got no errors. Okay and the application is working and something really important that I want you to know is that you need to be able to have res you need to have Redis on your system. So you need to be able to do Redis dash server, and it should already should already say could not create server TCP listening socket because the address is already in use. That means that we already have render installed and it's already online. So you need to do that. You need to run some commands to install Redis. If I said render, I'm sorry, it's Redis, not render. All right. So let's start back up the Rails server with Rails S. And then this application is working. So now let's go back to VS Code and let's go to config roots.rb and let's uncomment this root post hashtag index. And so now we've got a simple application and it doesn't look very good, so I'm gonna just fix it for now. So we're gonna go to bootstrap CDN, get go on this link, and I'll have this link in the description, don't worry. And this one looks good. And then I'm just gonna go to app, views, layouts, application to html.erb, include it in the head. And hopefully that bumps up the application. It does a little bit. And then I'm just going to go to the body, add class, give it container. Perfect. All right. So CSS has been installed. Perfect looking application. Best one I've ever seen in my entire life. All right. Now what we need to do is make this work. So the first thing that we're going to do is add the form on the home page. So to do that, let's go to the posts index and we're going to do embedded Ruby, and we're going to say render form. And we're going to say post is equal to at post. Now we don't have access to this variable yet. It has not been defined. So we need to go to the controllers index action and define this variable. So here we're just saying render the form pretty simple. Then we're going to go to controllers post controller index. And we need to define that variable. So we here we have something similar, but we have to define it because that's posts, we need to define post. So at post, is equal to post dot new. Perfect. And now the form will be there. Good. So now the forms there, what we need to do is make it so that you can't create a post without entering the title. In other words, validating the title. So we need to go to models post dot rb. And we need to make it so that validates post presence, presence, true. And it's not actually post its title, my bad. All right. So title and as you can see that's working now we've got a problem if i create a post called this is the worst post then i go back to the home page because that's what actually matters and then i try and create another post but i don't enter the title let's say i accidentally click it then the posts are going to disappear that's a real problem we need to make it so that the posts stay the same so that they stay there and we can see them so let's figure that out the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to go to the controllers, post controller, scroll down here, create action, get rid of this format.json, we don't need it. Then we're gonna do format.turbo underscore stream, and then curly braces. 
and make sure the curly braces are on the same line as the format.turboStream, otherwise it's not going to work, it's going to give you a syntax error. And so we're going to say render turbo underscore stream colon turbo stream turbo underscore stream dot replace because we're going to replace that form with a new form and we're going to say at post then do partial colon post slash form and then do locales post is equal to at post so what we're saying here is replace the form with a new form and we're going to replace that form on that page that the user was looking at and this locales post that post is defining variables for our post so for our form so we need to go to views posts form.html.erb go here and say comma id is equal to dom id post perfect if we've done all that this should be working and when we do this and we get this error the post should still be displayed so I'm going to refresh. I'm actually getting an error. Uh, I think I forgot to do something here. So go back to render turbo stream, turbo stream dot replace uh, post partial post slash form locales post post. So I forgot to add the curly braces here. Perfect. And then that should be working now. Okay. So now let's test if that worked. And as you can see, it did. Now when we get this red error, the posts are still on the page, that's vital. Okay, so the next thing to do is actually easier than this. This is probably the hardest part. So make sure you understand this line. I have a Notion file which explains it a bit more in depth here. So get that if you haven't got it already. So the next thing that we need to do is we need to go to index and we need to get rid of this div with all the posts, we can get rid of it. And we can say turbo underscore streams and turbo underscore stream underscore from posts and this is going to establish a connection to turbo stream then what we're going to do is we're going to say turbo frame tag and we're going to say posts do then hit end and the tag and then we're going to say render at posts so here we're just saying render all the posts and that's not going to actually work unless we go to models post.rb and we say after create commit broadcast prepend to posts save the file and refresh and then now when we create a post it should automatically refresh and it does but the only problem is it takes us to a different page so to fix that we need to go to controllers post controller and create and then where it says if post.save so if we're post is successfully created format.html redirect to post url at post so we need to change this and we need to make it so that it's posts underscore path like that so now if we go back and do this again and this is the worst post it automatically updates so that's wonderful let me just open another browser just to make sure that it's automatically updating and it's not just you know magic so I'll open up another browser and instead of this is the worst post, we'll say this is the best post, create the post. And as you can see, it's going on both browsers. So that's really, really cool. Now there's one thing or two things or three things that we can improve. So what we need to do first is we need to get rid of this new post button. We don't need it because we already have the form on the page. So let's get rid of the new post button. So let's go to index, new post, and we can just get rid of it save refresh all right it's gone now the next thing that we need to do is we need to add a delete button and that sounds hard but it's actually pretty easy so go to the show.html.erb copy it here then go to the underscore post.html.erb copy it inside and then get rid of at post i mean get rid of the at symbol so save the file refresh and as you can see they all have a destroy this post button you don't have to add that, but it's useful. And now if I delete the post, it's not going to work. Well, it is going to work, but it's not going to update on both pages. And the reason for that is because we need to go to VS Code, post.rb, copy this, and then make it so that after delete or destroy, I think it's destroy, and then we need to do broadcast remove to posts. So try that and then now it should actually work. 
So first of all, refresh both pages, then destroy the post. And as you can see, now it's deleting on both pages. And there was one more thing that I wanted to fix, and that's that when we create a new post, so I'll just delete all the posts for now. When we create a new post, it says post was successfully created, and it takes us to the posts folder or the post URL. I don't want that to happen. So to stop that, let's go to VS Code, index page, and let's surround this form with some with a turbo frame tag. So we need to say turbo underscore frame underscore tag. Then we need to say quotes post post underscore form. And then that should be good and end. Oh no, I forgot to add the do. So turbo frame tag post form do render the form end. And then if we refresh and get both both of the browsers going, I actually deleted one of the browsers. Let me get it back. Or maybe I didn't. Okay. And then refresh, and then I create another post. And then I, first I go back to the home page. It's not going to take me to the posts folder. It's just going to stay in the home page. So that's exactly what we want. Just to make sure that this is actually working, I'm going to open up a different browser. So we'll say Edge, and then I'll create this post. This is the worst post. And as you can see, it's still working even on Edge. And Edge is the worst browser, so that's saying something. So that's the end of the tutorial. Thank you for watching. It's been 14 minutes, so a little over 10 minutes, but we'll see how long the actual tutorial is. You can also check out my mentorship program if you want to learn Rails faster. And then I'll see you in the next video.